We'll begin tonight's ceremony with Justice of the Peace, Karen Brisbane. Judge Brisbane, please come on up and join me. You ready, Judge? I'm ready. Please repeat after me. I, Karen Brisbane. I, Karen Brisbane. Have been duly elected. Have been duly elected. To the office. To the office. Of Clackamas County. Of Clackamas County. Justice of the Peace. Justice of the Peace. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear that I will support? That I will support the Constitution. The Constitution of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And the Constitution. And the Constitution of the State of Oregon. Of the State of Oregon. And I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. And honorably. And honorably. Perform the duties. Perform the duties of Clackamas County. Of Clackamas County. Justice of the peace. Justice of the peace. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. We're going to do a signature and then you get to speak, okay? So let me get our paperwork out of here. Chair Smith, County Commissioners, elected officials, Administrator Schmidt, friends and family members, good evening. Thank you to the voters of Clackamas County for your ongoing support of the Justice of the Peace position as I begin my third term of office. It's a nice six year term, so I'll be here for a while. But have you thought about what's in the title, Justice of the Peace? Is the first thought that pops into your mind when you hear Justice of the Peace a wedding ceremony? Justice courts judges do perform weddings and a lot more. We hear a wide variety of cases from traffic to fish and wildlife, small claims and civil cases. Even though justice courts have, been, have their origins dating back to the 12th century England, today the courts have been modernized by technology. The paper files have been thrown out and left behind. Judges are attorneys who serve six-year terms after being elected. Justice Court is a trial court that is controlled by Oregon revised statutes that define laws and court procedures. Every day at work, judges listen to intriguing legal arguments, then make decisions after applying the law to the facts presented by the parties, as well as educating local residents about how laws apply to their specific individual cases. But back to weddings. After hundreds of weddings, there are ceremonies that stand out. Picture a clear, sunny day, New Year's Day on Mount Hood. The wedding ceremony was at the historic warming hut that's partway up the mountain with unbelievable panoramic views. The wedding party headed off on the ski lift to the top, and a snow cat took me to the hut where I waited for the bride and groom to ski down from the top of the mountain back to the hut. The ceremony went off without a hitch. The bride and groom pinned just married signs on the back of their ski jackets and happily skied off down the slope. I looked around. Uh, there was no snow cat. <laughs> the operator suddenly left during the ceremony because she received a radio call that her daughter had been injured in a skiing accident on the slopes. Her daughter was okay, but she had to leave immediately and I was stranded. Well, eventually, you might guess the ending. Eventually, the ski patrol rescued me. They skied me down the mountain in one of the rescue baskets. <laughs> or the ceremony at the court for the auto mechanic. A friend of the bride dropped off a white wedding gown in the morning at the court office so it would be a surprise during the noon ceremony. The bride and groom arrived at the court together the bride excused herself to the bathroom, and when she came out of the bathroom, she was wearing a beautiful white wedding gown. 
Since the groom had only seen the bride in her greasy auto mechanic clothes until that moment, his reaction was memorable. Whether we're officiating weddings or listening to cases in the courtrooms, judges have a rewarding job, and I thank you for giving me that opportunity.